Hey guys, uh, so it's really late. I was about to start getting ready for bed and put on my PJs and stuff, and then I realized while my room is, or my filming room, my office, all of that is clean and all that good stuff, I figured that I would go ahead and do my tour of this room. For those of you who follow my vlog channel, Tiffany DTV, which I will link to below in the more info, um, as well as this channel. I don't know which channel I'm going to put this up on. I've been saying I'm going to put it on my vlog channel, but I think I'm going to put it on my other channel. I don't know. I'll probably put it on Makeup by Tiffany D. But whichever channel I don't put it on, I'll link to below if you're interested. Um, if you watch both of my channels, I have talked about my new office space, um, how I kind of combine my filming space and my office space, which is really, really nice. I've enjoyed it so much. And um, I kind of already showed you guys the furniture, you know, showed you the details and where all those were from and stuff um, on my vlog channel, uh, which is Tiffany DTV. And while I really loved how it looked when I first brought it in because it just made such a huge difference even when it wasn't decorated, I really wanted to get it all done and um, wait until wait until I did get it all done and everything um, before I did a tour, obviously. I'm going to show you my furniture and everything, but I'm also going to show you um, my makeup area and everything, which really hasn't changed. If you want to see my whole little, like, adventure of buying this furniture and putting it together and all that really, you know, really fun stuff. Um, you can check out my vlog channel because I did post a video about all that. So let's stop talking and get started. Alright, so this is what it looks like when you walk in. I did get a new um, fixture. Brad put that up with my dad um, yesterday, so I was really excited about that. I get that at Home Depot. Um, yeah, so here it is. The desk and the bookshelf of the new things. I used to have that futon back there, which, as I've said before, was just not used. And this is awesome because I can come in here and, you know, edit my videos and, you know, do work online and on the computer and have so much room, feel like I'm not, like, facing the wall or in a corner or anything. I searched forever for a white desk like this, and the only... Um, well, yeah, I was even like, I would have taken any color to find a, a front finished desk that was fairly small like this. Um, I mean, it's really not that small, but for this room, which is teeny tiny, I needed it as small as possible. Um, I found it at Ikea. I'll put all the names and stuff below. Um, I have my pretty bookshelf. Uh, I still have my, oh, what's that stuff called? Um, Hayworth. Oh, I forgot. My Hayworth uh, mirrored jewelry armoire, which I've had forever. Um, I have my TV and my little bookcase, which I just got some, like, little cafe curtains and, um, tacked them in. And then under here, I have my nail polish and books and stuff. And they were too long, so I just bunched them up. So if any of you are wondering, um, these are just little, I got them at, where did I get, Z Gallery. Z Gallery. I use these to keep lipsticks in on my vanity, too. I'll show you that in a second. So a lot of you are going to ask where this ruler came from and why the heck I have a ruler sitting here. Um, it's really special to me. Um, when I did marketing for Chick-fil-A, um, I, well, true, Kathy, he has, like, an office in the, the headquarters, the corporate headquarters are in Atlanta, and um, that's where I went, and, and so I got to meet him and got to go in his office and stuff. It was really, really cool, and he gave me this ruler, so that was fun. And then over here, I still have my same filming setup. Everything is exactly the same. Um, the same things from Pier 1, the Hayworth stuff that I've had forever. Um, my lighting's the same, everything. You can get these too. I get these at Target, and then that's just a GE Bright Stick. For more information and all that, you can find that on um, my old room tour of this room. Um, all my makeup is still in here the same, uh, which you can look at that old video. It's Nothing's changed. Um, same with my, uh, the, my vanity. Um, I've got my little Sigma brush holders, all my brushes. Um, I keep lipsticks in this that I use day to day. Uh, I keep my beauty blender hidden back here because it looks funny in that cup. But, um, yeah, I leave it in there so it can dry. So, yeah, it's really nice. A lot of you are all freaked out. Um, a lot of people were, like, thinking that, my desk w or my vanity was like right here, you know, and then I had no space. But this room is very small, but the way I put the furniture, it actually gave quite a bit of space. Alright, so um, I may or may not get curtains. I haven't really decided. I don't know. Uh, I got this lamp at Target. It was one of those lamps in a box, which made me really uncomfortable. Um, and it's really funny because the lampshade was like folded in the box too, which was really strange. Um, the noisiest truck on the block just drove down the street. Uh, blah, blah, what was I saying? Yeah. I've still got to find a good chair. 
Um, I'll talk about my computer in a second. You guys were wondering about my keys. So many people commented on those pink keys. Um, it's just, well, I'll just talk about it now. It's a keyboard cover. It's a little silicone thing. And it works so, so well. Um, and it is from, what am I trying to say? Amazon.com. And I really haven't gone crazy decorating the desk or anything. I really just like to keep it plain. Um, since there's a lot going on in the room, I just, I really just think it's, I really think it's pretty, and um, I am getting a piece of glass cut for it. A lot of you guys suggested that I do that, which is awesome, and I could not agree more. Like, all of my desks that I've had in the past, this one obviously doesn't need it because it is glass already. Um, Dad's friend always cuts them for me and, you know, makes them nice and everything. So, so I'm really excited because I am paranoid. See, like, little fingerprints, and I know I'm so weird, but it just scares me to death, so I don't want to mess it up. Um, I'll show you what's inside the desk. This desk is extremely nice. I really, really, really like it. Um, I do have to get a new chair. This is just a little extra one that I had. Um, I've had that forever since I was little. And I just kind of stuck it there. It's fine for now, but I'm just done looking for something. I'm not really sure what I'm looking for, but I don't need wheels, obviously. I just need a nice chair. I'm not going to get like an office chair, but you know what I mean. Just a good, pretty chair. This thing has so much space. Look at that. I mean, I stack my other computer on top of this. Um, I freaking love my HP. Like, I possibly love it more than my MacBook. I know that's bad to say because so many people are going to be like, oh, I don't understand. But seriously, it's so hard to make the transition. I keep all my cords and stuff under there. And then I have, like, a power strip under, oh, don't look at my toes, under there that I plug it in, you know, when my laptops need to be charged. I just fully haven't made the whole little Mac transition yet. But I like my MacBook. Envelope stuff, off stuff. Um, and here I have pencils and pens and uh, more office stuff. I have that little um, towel because I like to sit this on it because the bottom of this gets kind of dirty. How do you prevent that? I mean, I'm sure there's something. See how dirty it is? I don't like scrubbing it around on this table before I get my glass. These I had when we lived at our old place and I never used them. I bought them and I never used them. Um, that's for files and stuff, and these I'm going to put, like, magazines in. I don't know. Um, I've had this since I was little. It's my, there's no place like home box from Wizard of Oz. I really like it. Um, just some books. Um, these are really cheap for six bucks at Target. You can get those. And inside of them, I put all my camera stuff in here. Um, I have two extra cameras. These are my old cameras I used to use. And this is a, a camera just like the one I'm using now that I got on eBay because I'm obsessed with this camera. What I'm using now is navy blue. Um, it's really good. I'll put the name of it in the more info bar or box or whatever it is. Um, I got this clock at Pottery Barn. These are the best photo boxes ever. Oh my gosh. Um, really, really good photo boxes. I haven't... I really am old school. I like to print out pictures, and I have not put. Oh, let's put on I haven't put. Um, I haven't organized them, but I just have tons of pictures that I really need to organize. And see, it comes with little files, and this holds a ton of pictures. Um, and I probably have too many of these boxes. Oh, Brad's back. Hold on. Okay, I had to go let Brad in. He was um, out running, and he didn't have his key. Uh. Where was I at and what was I doing? Um, yeah, these boxes really cheap at Target. I uh, have a coaster because I'm, you know, obviously a coaster. Uh, photo boxes, yes. These are from the container store and they're called Big Zoe Box of Sweden. They're really nice. Uh, this is just a little cheapo candle. The candle is disgusting. I burned it once and it stunk so bad, but the bowl is really pretty. So I might like put it in the freezer and pop the candle out because I hate the candle. But I love the bowls. Um, they're pretty cheap too. I got it at Target. I have another one of those bowls over here. More photo boxes that have random photos in them that I have not organized. Uh, this is from I don't even know where. Um, I keep little um, collect matches. I don't really have a lot of matches, but this is my collection so far. I always forget to get them, so I guess I'm not a very good collector. And then this little bookend, I get at Home Goods for really cheap. I have a lot of books. This is one of my favorite books. I love Victoria Beckham. I absolutely love this book, The Extra Half an Inch. It's one of my favorite books. And this was cool. I just found it in some of my Mac stuff, or like this little thing where I save things. And this was really pretty. I just thought she looked fun. 
It's made out of the stuff that the face charts are made out of. But she's just really pretty. And um, I don't have anything down there. Oh, pictures. I'll show you some pictures. Um, me and Brad. So sweet. Me and my parents and Brad. So sweet. Me and... So I haven't even put this in the um, frame. It's a little small, so I need to put like another piece of paper behind it. Um, this is a picture from my wedding. Me and a bunch of my friends and my sister and my sister-in-law. And me and Brad at the beach. And me and Lorraine at IMATS. It's really cute. I love that picture. I love Lorraine. She's probably be really uncomfortable that I have a picture of us sitting out, but I think that's even funnier. My Disney villains calendar. I don't like this page because I'm not a big Lion King fan. Disney villains calendar kind of disappointed me. I need like every day to be Maleficent and like old school stuff. That's a good one. Ooh, it's my, which one is on my birthday? Do you guys do that? Oh, well, I guess that's all right. I like to look at the ones that are my like birthday. Okay, this is getting really random and awkward. Okay, so that's it. I hope that you guys enjoyed it and I will talk to you very soon. Bye-bye.